Now, this is uh, how the Asma looks on the chart. But first of all, let's go to uh, through the actual Osma and I'll teach you how to read it. You can see that we have a, a center line dividing the bulls and the bears, which is the zero line. We have positive uh, values and negative values. The positive values account for the bullish momentum and the negative values account for the bearish momentum. Now, the way to use the Osma or oscillator of moving averages is uh, by looking at uh, uh, when the oscillator turns, turns uh, from positive to negative, just like in this case right here. Okay, now we have three examples. You can see that uh, when the Osma turns from negative to positive, we have a surge in bullish momentum, meaning that we have a lot of buyers coming in. Then when uh, the Osma turns negative, you can see that we have some negative or bearish momentum in the market. This can um, this can mean that uh, we have profit taken from the buyers or we have actual sellers that are coming into the market. The this but this is really not the question because the result is the same. We have a decline in price. Then you can see here that uh, when price uh, or I'm sorry when the Osma turns negative again, we have uh, a reversal in the market. Now, uh, of course, that uh, you need to on, you need to not learn how to read the Osma to understand if we are just pulling back for a continuation or if we are actually reversing. Now, uh, the way to know that is to read the histogram. You can see that the histogram right here uh, on this part of uh, price action is negative, but this negative momentum is just not as strong as the next negative momentum that actually gives us a reversal in price action. So uh, when you see the Osma surging uh, promptly to the downside, you can know that sellers are indeed in control of the market and price going down. And the same goes for uh, when it turns positive and we have a, a very abrupt surge to the upside. You can know that we have actual buyers in the market that are pushing price up. When the uh, Osma turns uh, from negative, uh, I'm sorry, from positive to negative, but the momentum isn't there, you just, uh, you can attribute that f to a uh, pullback before uh, going further up or continuing with the trend. Now, uh, the other way to read the Osma is when we reach extreme levels such as uh, this one right here and uh, this one right here, okay? Now, uh, when we reach extreme levels in the Osma, you can know that we have picked in momentum and uh, if you are just trading the Momo to the upside, like in this example, you should get out of your trade when the Osma picks because it means that the bullish momentum has picked and buyers and or Momo buyers might be uh, taking profit from their long positions. And in this case, it can also mean that uh, we are due for a correction. And of course, you don't, you never know if we are going to have a deep correction or just a mild correction before a continuation. But if you are just scalping the market or trading short term and uh, you want to make a quick 100 pips, you should use the Osma in this fashion. When it reaches a very extreme oversold level, you should get out. And the same goes when it reaches an extreme open.